Well, we're very excited. We're about to start our new series, Canada's Best Young Entrepreneur. But I thought it would be a good idea if we first went to the entrepreneur sitting here. Miles, how'd you get started? Well, before, before I get into that, I must tell you, I love what you're doing. And I think that we can't celebrate enough about great entrepreneurship in this country because there are great entrepreneurs and people are much more inclined to be entrepreneurial today than ever before. So I love that you're celebrating it. Um, I have your typical entrepreneur story. I have no education. I've never had a job. I'm fundamentally unemployable. <laughs> the first two people I hired were my parents. I borrowed 500 bucks from my visa card, um, I guess about 40 years ago part-time and 30 years ago full-time. So. And, 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 the, and the size and the scope of the business today, Miles, MDC Partners? Um, we have about 7,000 people full-time, 14,000 part-time. We're a billion-dollar business today, uh, both in revenue, approaching billion dollars and uh, approaching a billion dollars of enterprise value. So 500 bucks went a long way. <laughs> but why do you want to be an entrepreneur? Why do you want to run your own company? Other than because the nobody would hire me. Okay, so that was it. That they was wouldn't hire me. And also, I just needed to do my own thing my own way. I was always an outlier. So... I thought I'd take the risk because I wanted the reward. Okay, well, we're going to talk. We're looking to reward some young Canadian entrepreneurs in this country. We're highlighting a very interesting individual to launch our series. He was, in fact, Canada's youngest ever political representative, a city councillor at the age of 18 in Nanaimo, British Columbia. McLean's named him top 30 under 30. And actually, he performed at the closing ceremonies of the Vancouver Olympics. Makes you wonder what this guy can't Holy do. Holy overachiever, <laughs> Andrea. I'm Tell feeling me about I got to crawl under this desk here. <laughs> Uh, we want to introduce to you Terry Beach. He's the CEO of HireTheWorld.com, which is an internet crowdsourcing company. So, Terry, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me, Andrea. Look at how clean and freshly scrubbed you look. <laughs> Terry, tell me something. What, how, what got you from being a city councillor in, in Nanaimo to wanting to be an entrepreneur and starting your own company? Well, actually, after I finished serving in the city of Nanaimo, I went over to Simon Fraser University where I did a business and economics degree. And my first job out of university was actually at an entrepreneurial startup. Now, I later got headhunted to work in a private equity firm here in Vancouver, um, but I always wanted to get back into entrepreneurship. And so when I went off and did my MBA, that was the perfect opportunity to branch back into my passion, which is entrepreneurship. You have such an inspiring story, and, and I hope that you will continue to go and tell your story broadly because, you know, we need more people like you. What was the catalyst uh, and the big aha moment where you said, this business idea will work, that you got inspired and said, I know I'm onto something? Well, it's funny enough, I was actually sitting, uh, trying to get a venture capital job in Vancouver. Uh, I was on my way to a, a world championship of venture capital, and I was complimenting the uh, logo design of the person whose company I was interviewing at, and they pointed me to one of my now competitors in the industry. And at the time, it was very nascent. I mean, this was in 2008, and I just loved the idea of crowdsourcing in general. And so to give you an idea of what that is, um, instead of going to a traditional graphic design firm, small and medium businesses, entrepreneurs can come to my site, post a prize amount, and for a couple hundred dollars can have thousands of graphic designers from over 150 countries uh, source individual custom design graphics for their business. So if you need a new logo, you could have between 100 to 500 logos to choose from, only pay a couple hundred dollars, and only pay for the one logo that you actually select. So the value proposition is absolutely phenomenal. And what's your piece of the action? Uh, how are you making money at it? Right, so HireTheWorld.com takes a 10% commission of every contest that's done on our site, and we also take a listing fee. So everybody that comes to our site pays $35 to start their contest. And Terry, what's up next for you? You're planning on expanding this model. That's right, and so we're moving rapidly. In the second quarter of this year, we'll be uh, do it using a similar model to build viral video advertising. A uh, startup alcoholic beverage company, Bassano, in Vancouver is going head-to-head -head against uh, Smirnoff Ice, and they're going to, as a major part of their marketing campaign, going to do a viral advertising campaign. In much the same way that we crowdsource the logos, they will be putting up $50,000 in prize money in which amateur videographers and other marketing firms will be able to put up their own 30-second, one-minute viral advertisement, and then we'll be posting those online and supporting them. And this way, uh, Bassano will actually pay 
for the ads that actually go viral, as opposed to paying somebody to produce the videos and then hoping they go viral. They're going to be paying for results, which I think Miles would agree is a, a trend that we're seeing in marketing today. Terry, um, both of these are terrific ideas. What's the biggest limiting factor that you personally feel to see your businesses come to fruition at a level of success that you think they have the potential to achieve? Right. I, I think the best, uh, the biggest thing that we have to focus on is making sure that not only our clients are continuing to get that great value proposition that we're providing the entrepreneurs, but making sure that our community is getting the same side, uh, same kind of value on the other side. And so we're doing a lot of things uh, because you can imagine not everybody can win a contest, and that means not everybody gets paid uh, immediately. But what we are allowing people to do is come onto our website and engage in one-on-one -on -one contracts after they compete in these contests. So as an example, our top designer at the moment is a young designer in Tunisia, uh, although 50% of our, our designers are in North America. This gentleman has made $15,000 in the last three months, gone on to the first vacation of his life, and is now getting uh, work inquiries in New York, Los Angeles, Toronto. And so uh, in order to keep the marketplace together, we need to be able to add value to both sides of the equation, and we're working really hard to, to keep that up. Terry? I didn't know you existed. We're looking for people like you. If you're ever looking for a partner, we'd love to be your partner. Well, that's fantastic, Miles. We're looking for people like you. In fact, the first few people that have been talking to us about a possible acquisition are people in companies exactly like yours. So we'll have to talk off air. Okay. Love to. And guys, Andrea and I get 15% we get a cut. A finder's fee. Come on, He Miles. only gets 10, you only get 10. Sorry. But, Terry, uh, it, it, in, all, in all seriousness, final question here. You must be facing some stiff competition. There are other people out there, I assume, who are trying to do similar things. What makes you different? Why do you think you're going to be top dog at the end of the day? Well, there is rising competition in this space, that is true, but we are a very highly executing uh, based company. Uh, we've garnered the support of our lead investors here in Vancouver, Nicholas James Corporation. Uh, Oxford University has also kicked in some money. And I mean, we've gone from a $3,000 startup to a $2.5 million valuation company, and we're looking to raise several million dollars in 2012. Uh, we're executing faster than any anyone else, and our customer focus, 100% client satisfaction, is what's bringing uh, customers through the door. And it's the reason that even without a marketing budget to date, uh, even though marketing is kicking off in quarter two of this year, we are continuously getting customers through client referrals and satisfied repeat business. All right, Terry, we're going to have to leave it there, but the best of luck to you, Terry Beach of HireTheWorld.com. Very impressive. Impressive, Miles? You think very, that, you, you very. Think, you think that guy's got what it takes? Oh, look at how sophisticated he was, and his answers were extraordinary, and he's, you know, he... He's the real deal. But, you know, just think about it. I I'm in that industry. I didn't know he existed. And crowdsourcing is a growing area. You don't know who's going to win at it. But, you know, he he's very impressive. I'd like to meet him because I, I thought he was exceptional. But the fact of the matter is crowdsourcing is becoming so ubiquitous. How is he going to compete, though? I guess that is the question. Well, ultimately, it's, it's, it's about first move or advantage. Whoever gets scale quickly is going to become, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. the, 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 the dominant player. But I also think it's short-lived. I, I don't think you, you get huge lifetime. And, and it's also only for certain kinds of products. Right. You know, it's right. not for all, all mass marketing. It's not going to do that. Well, Miles, thank you so much for coming on the show. We always enjoy having you uh, sharing your insights uh, with our viewers. Much Pleasure. I, my only disappointment is that it's always over so I know. quickly. Well, we'll just have to have you back. <laughs> I would love to. Uh, in the meantime, though, tomorrow on Squeeze Play, stay tuned for David Dodge. We're going to have the outspoken former Bank of Canada governor talking to us about all things related to the economy. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And also, you can check out this episode on our website, www.bnn.ca. Check it out, and we'll see you again tomorrow.